welcome to the Legally Blind Geek YouTube channel. Hi there, my name is Mike. On this channel, I focus on overcoming low vision challenges. Today's video, we take a look at 10 plus low vision gift ideas under 20 bucks that are sure to please that hard to buy for person on your list. Whether it's Christmas, ho ho ho, birthday, Father's Day, Mother's Day, or just a special day that you want to acknowledge and say, hey, we're thinking about you, we love you, we thought you might enjoy this. Sound interesting? Let's get into it, what do you say? Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, any special event, special occasion, special day, birthdays, Father's Days, Mother's Days, all make a great opportunity for us to give someone we care about, that special someone, a gift. Now sometimes it's just a friend, sometimes it's a loved one, but the, the fame remains. It's just a lot of fun to give gifts, almost as much so as it is to receive them gifts. Now, in our video here, we're going to talk about 10 plus low vision gift ideas for under $20. Now, to make that a little easier to grasp, we're going to break it down into five categories. The first category is one that kind of helps to stimulate the brain, help support creativity. And we're going to do that by talking about pens, markers, bold leaf, or bold lined paper, excuse me, and some games. Now, to start with, when um, a lot of folks are visual learners, a lot of folks Similar to me, I'm legally blind. I, I lost my vision in, late in life when I was 40 years old because of, you know, a virus. Other folks, they suffer vision loss because of, you know, just getting old and the eyes just not focusing the way they used to. And some of us have, you know, a whole different host of different eye diseases that cause us to have low vision issues. So, one of the things that we need to do is to make notes for ourselves a lot of times. A lot of times it's just kind of like if we write it, we feel ourselves writing it on the paper, and we'll remember it. With that in mind, and just to stimulate some creativity, because some people just like to doodle and do puzzles. Crossword puzzles, you know, whatever those things are. But, my friend is this spiral bound notebook. It has the bold lines on it on one side, and then on the other side of the paper, it's just a plain white sheet of paper. Yeah, you can kind of see the lines going through the back side of it, if that helps you to keep online, great. If it doesn't, it gives you this clean canvas here to work with. What I do is I have, oh, I'm gonna set that over here out of the way for a minute. What I do is I have several of those spiral bound notebooks. Now you can use the leaf, the, the loose leaf sheets as well, equally well, and organize those into some sort of notebook. But what I use them for is I have one that I dedicate to like recipes or cooking instructions. I have another one that I don't, you know, that I have all of my um, ideas for articles I'm going to write or maybe YouTube videos that I want to do or, you know, when I do research where I put notes down so I can help remember points that I need to cover. To mark on the paper, I have a couple different options. One is the 2020 pen. Now the 2020 pen is kind of like a belt marker that marks a nice bold black line that doesn't bleed through the other side of the paper. So, if that's important to you, the 2020 pen is a great option. What I find myself using more often than not is the, the Bravo. It's a little, it's a pen slash marker technology is the way you advertise it. And basically it, it writes a nice crisp line like it was a ballpoint pen, but it does it with a bold black ink like you would see in a marker. Similar to a Sharpie, but it's not nearly as intrusive as a Sharpie is. And what I mean by that is, I can mark on one side of the paper and it doesn't bleed through to the other side like a Sharpie will do. Now, Sharpies have their place. This is not one of those places, and we'll talk about that in just a minute where, where Sharpies really come in handy. But this little guy, you just take the top off and it exposes that little tip. You write whenever you need to write. You put it back in the little you can clip it on your pocket. You got a little pocket clip here. That's a great little marker, a little pen. Now I told you I'd talk about, oh, by the way, 
I buy them off Amazon. I buy them at a box of 10. This box will last me about a year. It's less than 10 bucks and it's you can put a marker everywhere you're going to need one. You can put one in the kitchen drawer. I have a box on my desk. You can put these in the toolbox, wherever you want to put them. Okay? They really come in handy. They help somebody with low vision to see a line or see a note that they're making. Comes in handy for folks doing crafts, you know, hobbyists and stuff like that. I use them with woodworking all the time where I want to make a line and cut it off with a saw. I just put my square up there, use the little marker and mark it. When I need to make something bolder, that's when I do use the Sharpie, the permanent marker with the wide chisel tip. Now these come in really handy for doing those DIY projects, especially when it doesn't really matter if the line's not going to ever be seen, but you just need to draw, draw a line or make a little tick mark where you need to drill a hole or put a fastener. These work really well for that. It makes a bold enough line or point or mark, tick mark if you will, makes it easy to see. I use these, I even use these to mark my, uh, well, let me get one, I'll show you here real quick. Okay, I use the Sharpie permanent marker with the chisel tip, this guy right here, to mark things like this bottle. I use these bottles in the kitchen all the time. I put olive oil in one, so I'll put an O on it for olive oil. I use avocado oil, so I'll put a big A on there for avocado oil. I also use vegetable oil all the time, so I put a big V on there for vegetable oil. If you want to use this for maple syrup, you can put an M on there, I guess, or if you want to use it for anything, you just put one letter on there with that Sharpie, that permanent marker, and it stays on there. You can wash it, you can handle it, sticks on there like glue, as they say. So those are pens, markers, and the bold line paper that are a must for anybody with low vision. Now, let's talk about some games. Now games, they can be really simple as a deck of cards. I like the bicycle bold cards. They're nice cards. They're typical bicycle quality. They've got some kind of plastic coating on so that makes them really smooth. I mean they they feel like cards. They shuffle like cards. That's it. They make that nice little sound. You got some bold lettering on them. There's the Joker. There's the Ace of Clubs. Or excuse me. Ace of Spades, I guess I should look before I talk. They're nice and bold, and I, I think anybody can see that and recognize what that is. Good thing about a deck of cards is there are probably thousands of different games out there you can play with a deck of cards that don't require batteries, don't require a charger, don't require some kind of controller. You can basically pull these out of your pack, out of your pocket, out of your purse, your handbag, whatever, out of a desk drawer, off the table. And you can play games. You can play if you're one of those kind of people that they're by themselves a lot, or you like to you enjoy a good game of solitaire. This is a deck of cards that'll work really well for deck for solitaire. If you want to play one of those games that require you know multiple decks or different colored cards, these come in red. They come in blue. It's a great gift idea. Don't overlook a good playing card. They make a fantastic gift. And they're, I think at the time of this video, one deck is from Amazon is like seven or eight dollars. Buy two, buy three or four. Can't go wrong with a good deck of cards. Now, after the deck of cards, keeping with that same don't need batteries, don't need chargers thing, but you want something that stimulates the old brain, something that kind of, you know, relaxes the mind, gets it thinking about something, reduce that stress so you're not worried about whatever it is you're worried about. A lot of people like to do coffee or do their green tea and while they're sitting down kind of trying to chillax, crossword puzzles. There are large print crossword puzzles out there available and I've got links to those down in the description box below. 
All the items that I list in this video, there's going to be links to Amazon, their affiliate links. If you buy something from, by following one of these links, it supports the channel, will make a couple dollars. Maybe, probably closer to the fact a couple pennies, but it's all good. If it helps you, fantastic. And some of these items, if you don't like doing the Amazon thing, you can go to LSNS or Maxi Aids, one of those stores that specialize in you know, accessibility type stuff. They get you covered. Now, moving right along, crossword puzzles. Some people like to do Sudoku puzzles as well. Now, what I like about these is they come in a spiral bound notebook so that the pages, this is gonna get some plastic coating on it so it's pretty durable on the outside. And then inside, everything's in kind of like a large, bold print. Even I can see that. And anybody with low vision will be able to see that. Now, you don't have to be legally blind to appreciate this kind of stuff, okay? Grandma or Grandpa that are getting lit up in years that don't see all that well, instead of using their cheaters, would appreciate something like this. Especially the crossword puzzles or the Sudoku puzzles. Because you find somebody that loves to work puzzles and they don't really care what format it is. If it's a great big bold print, they'll do it just for the challenge. And folks with low vision don't have to be felt like they're left out in the cold. Now, we've talked about pens, we've talked about markers, we've talked about bold line paper, we've talked about some games that all make great, I'm going to say fantastic gift ideas. Now let's move on to the next topic, what do you say? Moving right along to topic number two of our list of 10 plus low vision gift ideas under $20. Now, this is a little bit on the whimsical side and the practical side, let me explain. Our 14 year old daughter is kind of like a fashionista. She doesn't wear anything unless she thinks it's cute or it's cool or it makes some sort of statement. So I'm going to keep that in mind when it comes to our next topic, which is, has to do with socks. And on the other end of the spectrum, our oldest son, he's on his feet all day long. He wears boots, so he's always looking for a, a comfortable, durable work sock. Okay. Having prefaced it that way, I have two links down below in the description box. One for a whimsical Christmas sock idea for folks that like Christmas socks that are always looking for something a little bit whimsical, a little bit different. These will make a great choice for, for those folks as far as a good gift idea. And then on the other hand of that spectrum, you know, like our son, somebody that is on their feet all day, they, they wear boots a lot and they need a good, durable work sock, we also have a link for that provided down below. So that, a dirty little secret, everybody loves socks, whether they will act like it or not, they'll sneak off to their little room and they'll figure out when they're gonna wear these and how they're gonna wear them, okay? So socks are a great gift idea. So let's get into topic number three. Low vision gift ideas, topic number three, under $20. There's no quick and easy way to, to camouflage this, but a really practical and appreciated gift idea for a low vision person or anyone else for that matter are a good pair of gloves. There are work gloves, cleaning gloves, food service type gloves that, that fill a, a lot of roles. And people like to protect their hands. If you're using your hands to do anything out in the garden or cleaning the house or some food prep, we like to keep our hands protected. We like to keep our hands clean. And in the cold weather, we like to keep them warm. So there, there's a wide range of gloves that will suit anybody's needs 
if you got somebody that's fanatical about cleaning around the house, worried about germs, bacteria, viruses, and all that kind of stuff, you know, a good set of food service slash cleaning gloves that don't have any powder in them, don't have any latex in them, so they don't bother people with those types of sensibilities. Make great gifts for that. Check out the description box down below for, for the links and you'll find something that's well-priced that does a really good job for somebody that just needs something so that they can put on when they're, they're painting or they're cleaning or they're handling food. Those gloves will work just fine for that. In addition to that, I've also got a link in the description box down below for a good work glove for somebody that likes to use their hands, that uses hand tools. You know, whether that's a rake in the yard, raking leaves, or some kind of little hoe or little rake in the garden doing some weeding. You know, a lot of times it's just nice to be able to, to protect our hands with a glove that's not like wearing some big old honking welding type glove that you can't have any dexterity or you can't feel, you can't use your tactile indicators or anything like that. In the description box down below, we've got some links to some gloves that will help with that. And those make really good gift ideas for anybody with low vision that likes to use their hands. So, with that having been said, how about we move on to topic number four. Hello and welcome to topic number four, low vision gift ideas under $20. In this topic, we're gonna to look at work flashlights, headlights, and outdoor lanterns. And um, I think it's important to mention that one of the things that low vision folks all have in common is we never have quite enough light perform different tasks. Normally sighted people don't really realize how much they rely on a good clean light to be able to to see what they're doing. When you have low vision, you know, that's one of the biggest things that helps to eliminate shadows and kind of get what, get rid of the fuzzy stuff is having a good light. Now, for me, the one I've got three that I'm going to recommend here. I have one of all three of them. I use them all the time. And uh, as a matter of fact, I wish I had more than one of them. It's a good idea to have several of these and just put them around the house or in the toolbox or in any place that you think you might need or you run into a situation where you might need some auxiliary lighting, some portable light, something that's battery powered, that's easy to use, that provides a good amount of light and the, will last a long time on a battery charge. So, having said that, the number one thing on my list is the Ebo Big Larry 2 Power Work Light. And I said that so that I can show you this little guy right here. One of the things I like about it is it's got this nice strong clip here. And that clip comes in handy if you want to clip it to something, pock it on a shirt or a backpack or whatever. You can, you can click it around the neck of your shirt and this big light right here will shine a bright light where you're working or where you're looking or wherever you're facing at. On the back end of it here is this little tapered spot here. It looks like a bugle with a strong magnet. You can stick that on anything metal. If you're working on a car trying to change a tire or looking inside the trunk or the boot or something, anywhere you need an auxiliary light like this, this metal, you can just stick this to it and it'll stick to it. It'll, it'll hold it. It's a really nice, strong magnet. One control here. You push it once, the flashlight comes on. Pretty bright light. I'm going to turn it around here. You press it twice and this floodlight right here is going to come on. Bright, huh? Press it one more time. 
it turns into a red light if you want to save your night vision or something like that or you just like the red light there's a red light if you want to draw attention to yourself you're walking along at night or something like that and you want to carry this in your hand or you want to clip it to a backpack or something like that or you're out for a walk at night or something like that this will help people to you know i don't know that they're going to miss you with this big bright bright red light going and if i push it again i think it'll blink And it's one of those kind of deals, the way the technology works with this light is you have to go one for flashlight, two for floodlight, three for red light, and four for the flashing light. If you give it five or six seconds in between, it kind of remembers where that setting is, and it, it goes back there the next time you turn it on. So it's kind of a cool light. So this is the Big Larry 2 Power Work Light. Great light. At the time of this video, I think the price was around $23, $24. I know that's more than $20, but I include this with a, on the list because it's a light that I really enjoy using. And uh, if you got a few extra dollars to spend, do yourself a big favor or the person that you're buying the gift for a big favor, go ahead and get them that light. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. The next light is going to be a, it's spelled P-E-T-Z-I Headlight Petzl I've had one of these lights for Not this version, but an old version of this light I've had since the 80s I bought it back when I like to do a lot of uh, Splunking You know, exploring caves and stuff like that Down in western Kentucky I also used it as a, a, a light in my fanny pack When I went hunting Or my backpack when I went hunting Because it was a good light to uh, track with and to see my way out of uh, you know the woods and they're a great light the, the new version is light easy to adjust LED and it'll last for many 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 hours there, there are times when this thing has lasted all weekend being used all night or not all night but you know four or five hours a night It'll hold up for 20 hours, 30 hours. Depends on the intensity that you set it at. And I've noticed that one, two settings are adequate for just walking. And then if you need it for something really bright, which I don't really anymore because I'm not a coon hunter, I don't need it to shine, you know, half a city block. I just need it to shine just directly in front of me. That power setting will work great for that. So check it out. It's in the description box down below. There's a link to it to find it on Amazon. And then the, the third option that I want to make you aware of is the um, Energizer, let's see here, let me read it. Energizer 300 LED Camping Lantern. Now this, this is a really good lantern. You don't have to use it just for camping, but it is rugged enough that if you knock it off the table, the thing's not gonna destroy itself. It's not gonna disintegrate. It's really nice to have because you can use it with full with uh, AA batteries or you can use it with D cell batteries it works well with either one it has adjustable power settings so you can adjust it brighter or dimmer depends on whatever your need is and I'd love to show it to you but the guys have got it the boys probably run off with it it's a great light everybody enjoys it and for any kind of outdoor lighting or just to keep around in case the power goes off in an emergency this thing puts out enough light that it'll light up an entire room well enough that you can see without having to hold the light. You can turn it on, put it on a table. You can turn it on and put it on the ground. You can turn it on and hang it in a limb on a tree and it'll light up a really good area. A really, it lights up almost the whole campsite well enough so that you can see it to go you know, visit the bushes or whatever you might need to do. So that concludes this topic. So how about we move on to number five. Okay, here we are, the last but certainly not the least topic that recommends and suggests some truly great gift ideas for anybody with low vision. And this topic, or this section, if you will, we're going to call Tasty Treats and Holiday Favorites. Now, 
This is one of those where it requires a little bit of participation on our part. And what I'm thinking here is a lot of times homemade treats are the best gift. You know, a lot of people really appreciate, you know, Aunt Becky's apple pie or Grandma's hot fudge or whatever. What I'm going to recommend for you right now is a couple of recipe books that will help you take over or develop your own niche. You'll find a product or find a, not a necessarily a product, but find a, a snack or a treat that you really like and you know somebody that you really like and fix it for them using the recipes in one of these cookbooks and you will automatically become their new their new hero. Every time they want a, say, some particular holiday treat, they're going to look to you to provide that. If that's a, a burden you're ready to take on, and some would say it's not a burden, it's a joy. I know my wife loves to bake. She bakes cookies. She bakes pies. She bakes... One, one of her favorite things are Buckeyes. A lot of kids in the neighborhood that have grown up, they always wait for Carolyn's Christmas Buckeyes. I mean, they have a standing order. It seems like she's making these things like an assembly line for two days. But anyway, what I'm going to re recommend to you is a couple different cookbooks. And one is the uh, Mr. Foods Test Kitchen Christmas Made Easy Recipes Cookbook. You can find it link in the description box down below it's available in a couple of different versions you can get the paperback we prefer everything on kindle because we all use our ipads and our tablets and stuff like that it's just simpler for us i guess we're victims of the technology age okay the second one is a really good option you need to have both of these really and you can pick and choose the different recipes that you like but the, the second one is going to be the 75 Sweet Treats Recipe for the Holidays Cookbook. And again, the links are in the description box directly below this video. Please check them out. Go to Amazon, read the reviews, pick the copy that you like. If you want the Kindle version, get the Kindle version. If you want the paperback, get the paperback. I believe you'll be uh, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with all the treats that you can get. Recipe to make that will delight the palates of your loved ones. So, there you have it. We have five different topics, several different gift ideas, that's 10 plus or so, of a low vision gift ideas that I think will work for you. So, I really do appreciate you uh, sticking with me. I would really love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below Oh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you give it a thumbs down. You know about that. But as far as the comment section down below, go ahead and share your ideas. Ask your questions. If you like what you see here, as always, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification icon ring all so you get made aware of stuff we're going to post next. Until next video, hey, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all that good stuff. Happy giving. Be safe. We'll catch you next video.